Hello, everyone. I pray everything is okay in our lives. I pray God is fulfilling all of our needs. I pray we are we are conquering our weaknesses. We can't really be so attached to some people's words. On one hand, they may say, you know, you are so wise, you are so sweet, you are so kind, you are so patient, you are so nice things, right? But on the other hand, maybe a day or two or more later, they may say you are mean. But I was polite like a week ago or some time ago, so I'm mean now. You are mean. You are impatient. But I thought I was patient, you know, like, like a while back. So you are impatient, you are mean, you are hateful, but how was I so much of these nice things, but now I'm all these negative things? What if you are the type of person that look for encouraging words like that? So, if you are that way to where you look for words like that, in a sense, a person has power to control the way you feel. Like, hey, I want that person to feel awful. So let me just say horrible, negative, wrong things to that person. Okay, I am in a I am in a good mood now. So I want that person to feel good. So let me say nice things to that person. Do you see how dangerous that is? Being so attached to a person's words. I believe by being that way, you are giving that person power over your emotions, which is very dangerous. Learn to encourage yourself in the Lord. Read the Bible. Have a relationship with Jesus Christ. Pray to him. Read the Bible. Derive, am I using that word rightly? Derive, encouragement from the Lord. People will fail you. They will, but God can't. So you are looking in this person to encourage you. You are looking for that person to encourage you. Or let me make this plain. You are looking for your mother, your father, your uncle, your brother, your cousin, your friends to bring you up, to encourage you. But when they feel bad about you and may say, I am disappointed in you, why did you do this? You may feel down until when? until they begin saying encouraging things to you. That is a huge weakness. Not to say that people should not encourage you, I am not saying that, but to where people have so much power over your feelings 
by whether they say something good or bad. Don't be that way. Don't be that way. Learn to be, can I say, assured in Jesus Christ. Yes. Learn to be assured in Jesus Christ. In Jesus Christ. Gain your confidence in Jesus Christ. I hope this makes sense. Don't be like, well, you know, that person is popular. This person over here is popular. So if they say good things about me, it has to be true because why? Because I look up to them. So if they say negative things about me, then that have to be true too because they are so popular. So their words define me. Do you know how dangerous that is? Do you know how dangerous that is? Learn to be confident in the Lord. If someone says good things to you, okay. If someone says bad things about you, yes. But don't let it run you down. Don't let it keep you under. They may be popular. They may have prestige. They may be rich. They may have all the things you may desire. But don't be that way to where their words define you. Like myself, I may not have many expensive things. I don't have a Mercedes. I don't have a Maserati, you know. Um, I don't have a Rolex, which I don't really care about that. But, you know, I wear cheap clothes and stuff like that, but I am okay with that. Because I know, <laughs> I know everything I have in this world will pass away. I am not going to take suitcases with me when I die. Like, once I die, can I bring a carry-on? Can I check luggage? <laughs> I can't. Everything I have in this world will pass away. So, pretty much now, my focus is on the spiritual. While so many people are caring so much, I guess, about Gucci and Prada and I don't know too many name brands, Mercedes and all that mess there, which is not really wrong. My mind is above that, which I am not saying it is bad to buy those clothes which I don't know too much about those clothes anyway. So I don't know. It is not wrong to want nice things, but I believe some people make it their life to have nice things and reject God. Now, that is wrong. I believe some people do that. So let me stop here. May God bless you.